This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at cis trans isomerism. Cis trans isomerism occurs where there is restricted rotation around a bond either because of a double bond or as a result of the ring structure in a cyclic molecule. On the left, we have a molecule that has a carbon to carbon double bond, and around this double bond, there's restricted rotation. On the right, we have a cyclic molecule, which also has restricted rotation because of the ring structure. First, we look at molecules that have a double bond. The pi bond in the carbon to carbon double bond restricts rotation, forming two different isomers. On the left, we have cis butene. On the right, we have trans butene. As we can see from these two examples, to have cis trans isomerism, there must be two different groups bonded to each carbon atom in the carbon to carbon double bond. If we look at the cis isomer, it has two CH3 groups on the same side of the double bond, and the trans isomer has two CH3 groups on opposite sides of the double bond. And here we have 3D models of the cis isomer on the left and the trans isomer on the right. As we saw previously, the cis isomer has two CH3 groups on the same side of the double bond, and the trans isomer has the two CH3 groups on opposite sides of the double bond. Next we look at cyclic molecules. Cycloalkanes contain a ring structure that restricts rotation. When the molecule contains two or more different groups attached to the ring, two different isomers are formed. On the left, we have cis-1,3-dichlorocyclobutane. On the right, we have trans-1,3-dichlorocyclobutane. The cis isomers have the same groups on the same side of the ring. The trans isomers have the same groups on opposite sides of the ring. If we look at the cis isomer, it has two chlorine atoms below the plane of the ring, whereas the trans isomer has one chlorine atom below the plane of the ring, and the other chlorine atom above the plane of the ring. So that's all from this video. Don't forget to check out the next video on EZ isomerism.